very first expenditure that our local citizens of just a few hundred people decided to make was to build a water tower. And so that water tower from 1920 has had great significance of building for the future. Now I was told, as far as expectations for this gathering, that it would be short, quick, to the point, and I was to also be short and quick. And that's not like me, is it? <laughs> All right, we'll see what I can do. Ten parting thoughts, and the first one, I'm going to have to add a ten thank you. And this is because fellow mayors and council members and regional leaders, I didn't realize we were doing a, a invitations outside of Gilbert, and I thank you. And I can elaborate, make a lot of comments about that, but we've been together in a lot of meetings, and regional thinking or state thinking has has been one of the highlights of service mayor, and thank you. The other item I'm going to do in addition to 10 thank yous by adding that one is some predictions for the future, and so here goes. The first thank you, Gilbert has over 80,000 families. And I wish, as part of Party of Thoughts, to thank those families. These families come in all different sizes and shapes, some large, some small. Many of the families are one person. Many of the families are one parent. I just decided to randomly, just randomly, pick one family and thank that family. That mom in the bottom left, she is a cute lady. <laughs> we have developed, so many of us, a community that focuses on family and a family-friendly environment, and I thank you for that. A second thank you. The very first week as mayor, many faith group leaders came forward and said, how can we help? with great energy, even the energy that you saw with the invocation tonight with Pastor Tim. I wanted to thank our faith group leaders, and I could have put pictures of over a hundred different churches, and within a few months of some of the volunteer activities that took place in the summer of 2009, we applied to the Inter Inter Arizona Interfaith Movement, and we were given a special recognition of being a golden rural city. This particular proclamation hangs in the mayor's office, and it's one of the great recognitions, proud recognitions of our community, their wonderful faith groups, and the volunteerism that they provide, and how they are a key part of our community. Even all the way back to 1920, our first mayor was key in having our local faith groups help when there was really no money to do different things. And all the way from the beginning until now, we thank our faith groups. A third thank you. This is a community of freedom, and we love our freedom. We love our flag, we love fireworks. We love something that is one of my favorite activities in our community, Operation Welcome Home, when we hear and find someone who has served abroad, comes home, in the council chambers, we welcome them home. And we do it in this picture at the bottom with flags, with a uh, a limousine bringing them into the front doors, and it's a great celebration. And those who are involved with that, I thank you for Veterans Day, Memorial Day, to Flag Days, to anything that we can recognize our veterans. And one of the greatest recognitions that I appreciate in our community is when we were noted as being one of the best places for veterans to call home. And so I'm grateful for this community and Constitution Fairs, and, and now that we are underway with our Welcome Home Veterans Park. This community of freedom, and I even go to that top left-hand corner picture, on display in the foyer is a Freedom Award that was given to Gilbert in 2011. And I was given the assignment to go back to Washington, D.C. and receive that award on behalf of Gilbert. Firefighter Leo Hess was the one that put in the application. He's in that picture. And part of the assignment that night was he was on his third deployment in Afghanistan, and they flew him to Washington, D.C. to be part of the event, and he was the one individual that night 
to receive a loud, long, standing ovation. And to Leo Hess and others that are part of this community of freedom, I thank you for that. A fourth thank you, and we have some more education leaders here. The Lewis family is an example of a family that came to Gilbert because of career education. And we knew it would be a great place for you to family. To our teachers, have heard me say in the council chambers at another great favorite event, our Citizen of the Month Committee Award, the greatest and noblest calling of all is that of teaching. And to our teachers, school administrators, to our parents who are active in building the education community, thank you. Our education community has provided us with a workforce that is well known in the state of Arizona. A workforce that is well educated. And so, to our community of business and economic development leaders, thank you for building a thriving community. From small to medium to large businesses, to, to brand new businesses who have put great risk to start a business. I love going to ribbon cuttings. I love being with our business leaders, and I love our economic development leaders that have great vision and help us create jobs, and together, as a community, we thank those great business leaders. There have been many occasions to have ribbon cuttings, to participate with our business leaders as they have joined in activities, and we thank them for that. A sixth thank you. We are a community of engaged citizens. And there are probably a thousand pictures that can describe this, but the volunteerism through a foreign city on our Make a Difference days. And when you ask Chief Dorn, or please Chief Dorn, the recognition of being the second safest city in the United States with a relatively small police force, how does that happen? He is quick to thank our citizens. So we have a group of citizens that get to know their neighbors. If they see something that's not quite right, they call and do something about it. To our engaged citizens who helped us in 2009 with that tough question of how do we balance the budget, we had over 100 citizens who were part of the Citizen Budget Committee. And there's example after example. I also thank our engaged citizens. One of my favorite places to go in Gilbert is our Gilbert Historical Society, where you can learn from the past but envision the future. And the list goes on and on. I thank our community of engaged citizens. I thank our Gilbert Town staff. And for a minute, I slightly shift an emotion. As I think of our town staff, there was a memory that came. As I started mayor, every department, every group I had a chance to meet with, the hardest group, group to spend time with or to attend a team me meeting or department meeting was our police department. And that's because they are out and about. And so, one lieutenant was assigned to me. We did ride-alongs. We spent a lot of time together. We went where we could to meet members of the police department. On Thursday night, January 28, 2010, town manager George Pettit called to let me know that Lieutenant Eric Schuhandler had been killed in the line of duty. 16 years of service to Gilbert. Father, a devoted father of two daughters had been killed. This was tough. And the next days ahead were challenging for our, our community. It was a time of uniting and coming together. The Saturday following that tragic news, I did find myself in front of our public safety memorial across the street. And where I'm typically one to keep emotions in, it was the one time that tears flowed. And it made me have a great appreciation at that point for what I had seen in our community after six months, our dedicated town employees. And as a local at an Arizona Republic cartoonist, uh, Steve Benson, drew this picture, 
I made a commitment to myself that whenever I could, to our dedicated town staff, that I would do my best to thank you. The term lean describes a group of town staff that provide quality service at the lowest cost to the taxpayers. And so part of tonight, I wanted to thank you, our dedicated staff, many who put their lives on the line, and then the rest are supporting those who are doing so. It's a great team. The second thank, the number eight thank you, excuse me, is to our town council. And to those who have given comments tonight, I thank you again. This is a picture since 2009 of the four different councils that I have had the, the opportunity to be part of. Twelve different individuals. All twelve could receive from me a long list of, of specifics of how I've appreciated you. And to all in this room, thank you. You each have special talents. You each have taken the time to dedicate part of your life to serving our community. And I thank you for that. And number nine, thank you to town leadership. Now, I'm trying not to really mention any names in this, to be very general. There are three names, though, that, that represent our town leadership. I have appreciated serving with town manager George Pettit, Colin DeWitt, and Patrick Banger. Patrick, Lucinda has called you a saint. And a Lewis. <laughs> She's called you a saint for five years. Of Lewis, did you call it tyrant? Or tyranny? It's got a lot, a lot of adjectives. Maybe there has been a, an obnoxious mayor, but there's been an obnoxious manager there too. We all love the Diamondbacks. We all love the Diamondbacks. Mayor Lane, as you know, we have special allegiance and alliance with the Giants with coming to spring training, but this has been a long time in my life. 